Also important is that we have a, uh, an alternating between trot and canter because in the trot we have the diagonal work of back muscles and uh, well diagonally through the body. If we go to canter we've got a different way of working through the body so the alternating is what loosens the back of the horse uh, in a most effective way. So with youngsters, it's all about making everything very clear to them. And treating them like small children. You know, often with youngsters, they, you know, first of all, they have exuberant characters, but also a lot of things, they just don't understand what we want. And we always have to think a step ahead of them and figure out how can I make it easy for him to understand so that he finds what I'm asking him easy. I don't tend to turn him very much with my inside rein. I almost use more outside leg and outside rein to turn him off the track than the inside because if I pull on the inside rein with him, he just falls out over his outside shoulder. Because he finds it hard to balance, it ends up just, he just carries on going the direction that I don't want him to go. And so if I just bend him here, he won't turn very well. He just goes sideways. So what I need to do is almost use a bit of outside flexion on this horse to bring him off the track when I want him to come off the track. Every time I come over the centre line, I'm going to bring him back a little bit. In between the centre line, I'm going to go forwards again. So that he starts to be able to associate that point with collection. That'll help him understand what I want. But I'm constantly making him go forwards again because that's really important that we create, uh, that we maintain the impulsion. So collect a bit and forwards again. Okay, that's obviously not much collection, but can we just gradually build on that? 